Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of expanded notation. This is standard 4.2b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 2 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have a mystery number here. We've got three different clues, and we need to find the number that best fits these clues. Obviously, we've got uh, we've got some eights, some fives, and some threes. And we uh, have them all over the place. I would suggest right that we go ahead and draw a place value chart. Now let's let's see what our largest number is here. Okay, so this is going to be our largest number. So it looks like it goes to the hundred thousands. So I'm just going to draw that over here. So that goes to the hundred thousands. And then decimal-wise, it also looks like it goes to the tenths place, right? So actually it goes to the hundredths place. Let's put two there. Yeah, A goes to the tenths place, but the other three go to the hundredths place. And that's as far as we get in fourth grade is to the hundredths place. The thousandths place comes up in fifth grade. And so let's go ahead and label these, right? Now, what I'm going to do is, rather than using words, take a look at my clues. My clues here are going to show me expanded notation, and they're going to take the digit, they're going to multiply it by the value of that place. So instead of using words like ones, tens, hundreds, I'm going to use digits to show the value, right? So this is the ones place. This is the tens place, right? You notice it's two spaces over. This is the hundreds place. Uh, it's three spaces over. That means I've got three digits in my number, right? Here's my thousand. Four spaces over because there's four digits in my number. Ten thousand. I'm going to try to scrunch these up, and this is my hundred thousand. Now, when I go to my decimals, right, this is one place to the right of the decimal, so this is my tenth, my one-tenths. And this is two places over from the decimal. This is my hundredths, my one hundredths. All right, so now I've got each of those. Let's see what my values say. I have an eight, and the value is eight times, and then look, they're giving you the place value right there. That eight times the hundredth, so that, that means that eight is gonna go in the hundredth spot. Okay, so if you set it up like this, all you got to do is plug these in. It becomes pretty straightforward. The digit 5 has a value of 5 times 10. 5 times 10 would make 50, because I'm going to put a 5 in the tens place. 5 tens is 50. Then it's got a value of 3 in the thousands place. 3 times 1,000 is 3,000, because I'm going to put a 3 in the thousands place. All right, so my correct number has to have a 3 in the thousands, a 5 in the tens, and an 8 in the hundredths. So let's just take a look at my four answers. I'm going to line them up using my decimal point. So let's just see which one looks correct here. So I can already tell you A is going to be incorrect. Look, they've got an 8 in the wrong spot. 2, 5, 6, Three. Okay, so that looks good. That looks good. My issue is that eight. It is in the tenths place rather than the hundredths place. So let's check B. Well, that's a problem. Take a look. I've got a zero five. I need an eight there. And then I've got three eight six two. All right, so they've got that's in the wrong spot as well. The only digit that works for B is the three in the thousands. Okay, so that is actually not even close. Let's check C. I've got 48. Okay, that looks good. Three, six, five, two. All right. C is looking good. Look, I've got a three in the thousands, a five in the tens, an eight in the hundredths place. So let's just make sure this one is incorrect. Okay, I've got a 48. That looks good. Now this one goes to the 100,000, so 341. Oh, there's my problem. 652, right? My problem is that one in the thousands, so my answer here is C.